Welcome, everyone. Come along, take your seats. We've got a lot of work to get into today. As many of you probably know, it's the beginning of our summer production, and we need to get a lot of work done in the upcoming months. Now, I was going through our reports from the last few months, and our production has gone down by quite a bit. And we think this is due to the lack of... Uh, yes, what is it? Earthquake? Are you feeling alright? Do you want to go and have some fresh air or something? There was no earthquake. Gotten taller? No, I don't know what you mean. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Right, right. Where was I? Of course. As most of you probably know, Summer is our most important time of year for profits, so over the next few months we'll be working really hard, but it should pay off. Uh, yes? What is it? I've grown. <laughs> what are you talking about? Stand up, go on, stand up. This is a really important meeting, it's not time to mess around. Look, stand up. Go on, stand up. If you're gonna mess around, then I'll mess right back. There you go. Look. I'm just over a foot taller than you, like I've always been. What? We were the same height. Oh, no, no. No, we weren't. Are you sure you're okay? Go on, sit down. Let's get back to this meeting. If you're sure you're okay, take a seat. And let's go through these reports. Well, as I was saying, we've really got to work hard these next few months because some of you have not been putting your work in. And I'm looking at most of you guys around here. You boys are always slacking off compared to the hard-working girls in this place. Though, I suppose I can't really blame you, seeing as how much smaller you all are than us. I wonder if maybe not only your bodies are smaller and you're shorter than us, but if also your brains are smaller. That would explain why your performance is lacking. <sighs> anyway, I've handed out the reports. They're all on your desk. So we've just got to really put our heads down and get this work done in the next few months. Especially to make up for the lot of you boys slacking. Alright, people. I'll be getting back to your desks. <laughs> Go on, we've got some work to do. Sorry? Just step to the side for a second. What was that you were asking? If I've gotten taller? <laughs> no, no. Don't be silly. I've always been about two feet taller than you. Go on. Stop wasting time. Time is money, they say, after all. And you've really got to start thinking about your performance here in the company. Go on, back to work. If you've got any questions about those reports, just come and see me. Okay, people. Gather round, please. It is day two of our summer production, and I have uh, some not-so-good news. It would seem that one of us has uh, not been adequately fulfilling our duties. You, David, can you come over here, please? David was assigned the simple task of contacting our advertisers and making sure everything is ready for summer. And yesterday was the deadline that he had to do this by. But, well, it would seem that David has not done this at all. <sighs> I should never have put a man up to doing this. I should have picked one of you girls. No, really, it's my fault. I shouldn't have assigned a man such an important task. <sighs> But next time, girls, I'll definitely be putting one of you on it. <laughs> oh, you boys. 
so unreliable. Jenny, can you please see to it that that task gets done? I'll forward you all of the information on email. I'm sure you'll be much more confident than poor little David could ever be. <laughs> anyway, you, yes, you, you've done quite well, haven't you? Hmm, you did a very good job completing your tasks. Oh, <laughs> you know, I might get you a little reward or something, a sticker or something later. You followed my instructions perfectly. You're one of the only boys in here that actually managed to do their job for once. Ah, you hear that? All you boys better pick up your pace. We've got a lot of hard work to get done. And my little friend here, oh, he was the only one that managed to do it. What was that? Have I gotten taller? Oh no, none of this again. Ah, oh, come on now, you're so silly. I've always been about twelve feet tall and towered over you and all of the other men in this workplace. You boys are so silly with your strange little question. You know, on average, a woman is about twice the size of a man. That's just average for the whole world. <laughs> what do you mean I've grown? No. Uh, you go and get a drink of water and some fresh air, you silly little thing. And then you be a good boy and get back to your desk and get on with the tasks I've given you. Alright people, the message of today's meeting. Don't be like David. Go on, back to work. Oh, and girls, I've got some nice sweet treats in the break room. <laughs> girls only, though. You boys have no need of things like that. <laughs> All right, back to work, people. Chop, chop. Right, I want everyone to report into the meeting room right now. This is not a joking matter. Come on, in you will get. Ladies, please. And you boys, too. In you get. No, oh, there's not enough chairs. Um, ladies, you sit on the chairs. Boys, you kneel, sit on the floor. Go on, in you get. Right. I have heard some serious allegations against one of the men in this room that they were acting inappropriately towards one of our female co-workers now we do not accept this kind of behavior at all here in my workplace luckily the man in question was so small and tiny and weak that the woman managed to defend herself and gave him a right beating <laughs> And I have also heard that some of the other girls stepped in and gave him, well, exactly what he deserved. So I'm glad to see that you girls are sticking up for one another. <sighs> but I will have it said that this kind of behavior is completely unacceptable from you men. Or boys, should I say. Besides, you should all think before you act. Why on earth would you think that tiny things such as yourself would have even a chance with one of the goddesses that work here? <sighs> and that particular man in question, who did receive a beating from the girls, is lucky that she didn't go to the police. <sighs> you know that the police women have power over men to, well, destroy them and their lives. You know that it's a terribly heinous crime to act in such a way towards a woman. He is lucky that a beating is all that he got. Not mentioning any names. Oh, my, my clothes feel a bit tight. <laughs> I'm almost busting out of them. Mm? 
What was that? I've grown. <laughs> what is all of this silly nonsense? That's three days in a row where you've made the same joke. It's not funny, and it doesn't get funnier. I've always been about 24 feet tall, towering over you. About what? Four times your size? I mean, all of the women here are four times your size. At least. That is just the way of the world. <sighs> right. I'll see you all in tomorrow's meeting as usual. And remember, boys, behave yourself. I think you've all much to ponder until tomorrow. Welcome, welcome, ladies. Please take a seat. I'll just uh, kick the men out the way if they get in the way. Yes, don't let them get on your shoes now. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sad to say that any men who have still managed to show up to work today, that you will no longer be holding your positions at work. You're all so tiny and weak and incapable, and you just can't keep up with this fast-paced environment that I'm running here. I need a team of strong, independent, and capable women by my side. And you boys are just, well, I'm sorry to say it, but useless. The world has outgrown you. You're all far too tiny to be of any use to me. <laughs> Go on, you can all pack up your things and your desks. I'm sure it will take you a while, you're all so tiny. And now, girls, I have some things to tell you. <laughs> Go on, out of here, boys. Get out the way. We're going to have a bit of girl talk now. <laughs> and no boys allowed. <sighs> oh, did you see last night's episode? <laughs> oh, yeah. I oh, know the so part cool. where he got squished. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> Don't you think so? Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't think they were going to put that in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> come along now, boys. <laughs> Get out. Your time's come, unfortunately. You'll receive all your information in an email. Out you get. Come on. <sighs> what was that? Oh, down there. Oh, it's you. What's the matter? The women are growing. Sorry, I can't really hear you down there. You're so tiny. I've grown. No, you silly thing. I've always been about 50 feet, just like all the other girls in the room. And, well, I suppose all the girls in the world are about 50 feet. I think you are quite mistaken. No matter. <laughs> Off you go now, little thing. You've got to pack up your desk. Oh, though, could you see me in my office tomorrow? I'd like to have a word with you. A special little meeting of our own, if you will. Mm, very good. Ah, oh, right, girls. Where were we? Oh, right, yes. I saw it. I swear every time I watch a new episode of that show, I just get more and more hooked. Hmm? Who's there? Oh, down there, it's you. Yes, come in. Come climb up on my desk. <laughs> oh, here, let me pick you up and help you. Oh, oh there you are. All right. Ah, yes. I called you in for a meeting today, just you and me. You see, I've taken note of your questions the past few days, and I must admit that I have been a little bit deceptive. <laughs> you see, yes, myself and all the other women in the world have been growing these past few days. 
I denied it, of course, because, well, it was the right thing to do at the time. I didn't want to panic you or any of the other boys, as it must be a very strange realisation to come to, that you're now tiny and helpless and completely worthless. But, well, I have a proposition for you. You have always been a hard worker, and I have noticed that you seem to be enjoying being surrounded by much larger women. <laughs> Beautiful, huge, giant women. Thousands of times more beautiful and more powerful than you or any other man could be. And we will have some use for men like you once this changing of the world is complete. <laughs> you see, phase two is starting. And now, women will not only be getting bigger, but they will also be getting more beautiful and lustful and sensual. Women will live much longer than men, even one day becoming immortal, but never aging and always remaining youthful and beautiful in their look. And, well, you see, with such a change, men, especially good ones that appreciate the goddesses around them, will be in very short supply. And male humans will become an endangered part of our species. <sighs> and as these changes happen around us, I mean, Look at me. I'm even growing now. Soon I'll be, hmm, a hundred feet in a minute or two, I would say. And as these changes happen around us, we will need good men. That will worship us appropriately. So, I offer you that choice. Mm. Oh. Will you join me oh, at the start of phase two, as I grow bigger and bigger and more beautiful than ever? <laughs> oh, I'm crying so quickly. Oh, you better hurry up and make your decision. Soon you will be minuscule, and I won't even be able to tell where you are. Well, uh, what will it be? Will you join me in this new world?